question eight from section one of the 2019 Higher Physics Examination. A spacecraft is travelling at a constant speed relative to a nearby planet. A technician on the spacecraft measures the length of the spacecraft as 275 metres. An observer on the planet measures the length of the spacecraft as 125 metres. The speed of the spacecraft relative to the observer on a nearby planet is, and we're given the usual five choices. Well, we go to our data book, look up our relativistic equations, and we have this one here, L prime is equal to L, and it's the square root of 1 minus V over C all squared, and it's the square root of all that. Now, what does that mean? Well, U is the speed, relative speed of the spacecraft compared to the planet. C is the speed of light. L is what we call the proper length of the spacecraft. That's the length measured in its own reference frame by the technician, and that'll be 275 metres. And L prime, as it's called, is the relativistic length measured from the observer on the planet's inertial reference frame, and he or she measures it to be 125 metres. Now, our job is to extract U from all that to give us... Uh, an answer of the speed and you can see we have still got a bit of work to do and that work is going to involve then rearranging to find out u so the first things first is i divide each side by the proper length l and i end up with l prime divided by l is equal to the square roots of one minus the speed divided by the speed of light all squared that's the first move now, whenever you see a square root on either side of an equation, you know you can get rid of it by squaring both sides. So, L prime divided by L, and I'll square all that, and that takes away the square root sign to leave me 1 minus U, the speed divided by C, all squared. The square root sign is now gone. But remember, I'm still looking to extricate the speed U. So what's my next move then? The next move is to get u upon c all squared over to the left hand side. To do that, the sign changes. And to take l prime divided by l all squared over to the other side, and that sign changes to minus. So what I'm left with is u over c all squared is going to equal to 1 stays where it is, and it's 1 minus, because it, this will be over this side, become minus, 1 minus l prime over l all squared. So we're beginning to win this battle. Okay. Now to get u out of this, we take the square root. So the square root of u over c all squared is just simply u over c. And that equals the square root of 1 minus l prime divided by l all squared. And remember, you have to square the whole thing as well. So that's the situation we have then. And to tidy up, we just need to say that speed u is equal to the speed of light c multiplied into 1 minus l prime over l all squared and remember that's the square root so there's our winning formula which we have got u and on its own and every other thing on the other side now all we have to do is plug in the proper values and we can find the value of u so over here then u has got to be equal to c, the speed of light, which we'll call 3 times 10 to the power 8, multiplied by the square root of 1 minus. Now, L prime is the relativistic length of the spacecraft, which is 1, 2, 5. Divided by L is the proper length, which is 2, 7, 5. And remember, that value has all got to be squared, and finally the whole thing taking the square root off. So that becomes 3 times 10 to the power 8, and we're going to multiply that by the square roots of 1 minus, if you do the 1, 2, 5, divided by 2, 7, 5, all squared, you're going to get an answer of 0 0.21 in your calculator. You can do the calculations in easy steps. Oops, sorry. So if we've got 3 times 10 to the power 8 times 1, Take away 0 0.21 is the square root of that. So we do that in my calculator. You can see we're going to end up with a value of 2.67 times 10 to the power 8. I remember it's a speed meters per.
per second. And you can see that's a real fraction of the speed of light, so it will show uh, relativistic uh, phenomena. So our answer is going to be 2.67 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second, and it's going to be answer C. But the important thing to remember with this, this uh, type of question is be comfortable rearranging. It's a very difficult rearranging to do. So you have to practice that and practice that until you know you can go from the basic equation up here right down to measuring the speed u. Very difficult question. Answer C. Question 9 from section 1 of the 2019 Higher Physics Examination. The redshift of a distant galaxy is 0 0.014. According to Hubble's law, the distance of the galaxy from the Earth is, and you're given five distances. Now, look up your data sheet to see where you can find all the equations associated with the redshift. And redshift Z is equal to the wavelength observed, take away the rest wavelength, divided by the rest wavelength. But we're not dealing with wavelengths here, so we can ignore that one. The second equation tells us that the redshift is equal to the recessional velocity of the galaxy divided by the speed of light. And the third one is recessional velocity V equals Hubble's constant times the distance D. That's the one we're going to have to use. But in order to use that one, we must find out the recessional speed of the galaxy first. So we take our first little equation, or the middle one there, and that's Z. I'll put a wee line through it to show it's a Z, not a 2. Z equals the recessional speed divided by C. I can rearrange that to have the recessional speed V equals the redshift times C. So plug in the numbers and we can find the recessional speed. Z, as we know, is from 0 0.014 times the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the power 8. And if we do that in our calculator, we get 4, 2, and we get that number there. And remember, that's a recessional speed, so it's metres per second. So now we have the recessional speed. We go on to look at the third equation. We know that V, the recessional speed, equals Hubble's constant times D. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for this distance D. So a wee quick bit of rearranging, and we get that D is equal to V divided by Hubble's constant. So we know the recessional speed. The recessional speed we worked out there now was 4200000 metres per second. And we're going to divide that by Hubble's constant. So go to your data sheets and you can look up Hubble's constant. And there it is there, Hubble's constant. H0 is 2.3 times 10 to the power minus 18. So 2.3 times 10 to the minus 18. And that is seconds minus 1. So the 2 seconds are going to cancel out. And um, we're going to have on my calculator the distance d. When you do that in your calculator, you get 1.83 times 10 to the power 24. And it's got to be in metres. So that's the distance. Let's check our answer. And it looks like we're going to get an answer of b for that one. So that's a question which involves 2 of the z of the redshift uh, equations uh, V divided by C and H naught divided by D and you have to work one and then get the answer for the next.